and I am definitely having contractions just walking around the farmer's market. So I wonder if this will resort in. Whatever is happening, it's just, it's intense, so. Welcome back to another vlog. We are literally headed out the door. I got my bag. There's the cat eating some turkey off the ground. We are headed out to the farmer's market and I wanted to take you guys on a little vlog today, see what we get into. I am currently almost 40 weeks pregnant, so baby is due anytime, any day, and I am having contractions, a lot of Braxton Hicks. I'm having, well, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit later, a little pregnancy update, but this could be one of the last outings we do as a family of four. Uh, my mom's with us too, so I guess family of five, but... <sighs> yeah you guys i'm excited to get out the house do some walking around the farmer's market it's a beautiful spring day we've had tons of storms and rains the last several days so it'll be really nice to get out the house and just walk around and enjoy a little bit um of other things so i'll update you guys as the day goes on this is really more of like a random vlog i don't know exactly what i don't know exactly what i'm getting into today so it'll be kind of fun um I don't have too much planned, so it might be more of a chill vlog, but I have a ton of updates for you guys in this video. So let's go to the farmer's market and try to get some pastries and coffee before they run out because it's already a little later. It's like 1030. So we got to go because those things sell out fast as well as I would love to grab a loaf of sourdough, which I don't know what if that will happen. I have that store bought one over there. It ain't really it. So yeah. Our oven is still broken, waiting on a new oven. Like I said, there's a ton of updates for you guys. Literally trying to walk out the door. Everyone's in the car already. So I'm drinking my latte. It is so good. It is a ginger lavender latte. And I am definitely having contractions just walking around the farmer's market. So I wonder if this will resort in a baby soon. But yeah, it's beautiful weather out here right now. Okay, so next stop, library. I'm totally looking like a mom. <laughs> Got all of the things in my hands at one time because the kids want to run around and play with the other kids, so. <laughs> I've got all the things in my hands right now. Okay, so I just applied for the kids' very first library card, which is so exciting because they really wanted their own. And now that they can sign and write their own name, which they recently learned some months back in homeschool, they want their own. So I thought that would be fun. So I just filled out all the applications for that and we're gonna go pick it up. Wow, my babies are getting so big. All right, so we stopped at the thrift store because this is probably gonna be one of my last thrift little shops. One of my last thrifting shop. Oh, this is kind of cute. It's a farm quilt. Yeah, this is probably gonna be one of my last thrifting trips before baby comes. Look at that one. You guys know I'm obsessed with quilts. I don't need any more though. But yeah, so we're gonna just look around and do a little bit of thrifting. The kids are in the car with their dad looking at some library books because I did not feel like chasing kids around in the thrift store today.
okay as you can see i picked up a croc because you guys know i cannot turn down a good croc especially this color but i am having contractions like as i'm here in the thrift store is it baby day i don't know very excited to find out though but i think my husband's gonna drop the car off at the shop so maybe we should wait to do that because i need to make sure we have a ride to the hospital because our car still needs a lot of work done I don't know, I've been having predominal labor, meaning false labor. So this has been going on for the past few days. It's been a little bit annoying, but baby will come when baby's ready. That's a tarantula. Is what I keep telling myself. You too. There's two cookies in there. Obviously back now from our outing. It is several hours later. Honestly, I took a nap. I played with the kids. We played outside for a while. We had lunch. We ate Panera. We got like a Philly cheesesteak and um, a cookie and green papaya tea. If you haven't tried that tea, you need to. So good in my opinion. But I thought I would do like a little thrift haul for you guys. Dee is upstairs shampooing right now because we had a little bit of an animal accident. Um, so he's doing the carpets right now and honestly we are both like in full nesting mode we've got the shampooer going I need to wash our sheets and all of the little things that baby's not gonna care about right like I already know this I have a whole like nest with me prepping for baby video as well coming out soon some point where we do a whole bunch of baby things over like a course of a few weeks or a month. I just kind of filmed what I was doing. Um, contractions have stopped. They're not consistent. And that's just been an ongoing thing with predominant labor. I don't know. I don't know when baby time will be. I'm just going to let this baby decide on its own. I am not trying to get induced. I'm going to do my best to stay pregnant as long as possible until the baby decides to come. So, with that being said, <laughs> I have had to be induced in the past though with my last baby, my daughter, because she was stubborn, she did not want to come. So I'm just hoping I don't have to go through that again. It, being induced is not fun and I just don't love, I just don't love that. So, anyways, <laughs> that is the little pregnancy update as of now. I am actually right now having a Braxton Hicks contraction where your stomach gets all tight. Like, I can definitely tell the difference between Braxton Hicks. Ooh, that is tight, girl, that is tight. Um, yeah, so I can tell the difference between Braxton Hicks and, like, a labor contraction, even though I've had false labor or it stops. Whatever is happening, it's just, it's intense. So I'm really hoping in the next few days I go into labor. My husband's going to take the car tomorrow morning so they can fix. Oven update. Our oven is still broken. We're waiting for an electrician to come on Monday to hook up a new plug for um, this old home because it has hard wiring. So there's that going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> It feels like life has been a lot. I've been able to meal prep a few meals, nothing crazy from stovetop meals. I really miss baking so, so much. So much. It's been so hard not to be baking fresh things. That's what I love to do. It's like my hobby. You guys know that. So it's been, it's been quite a challenge. Anyways, let's get to our random little thrift haul. Noah just had a birthday recently and this banner, this bunting... This quilted bunting is from 
his birthday i don't know i might leave it there for a while i think it's kind of cute but that's what it was there for anyways on with the random haul i got this it says it's a cookie jar but all i know is it's a beautiful crock i don't i'm not going to be using it as a cookie jar probably you would need a lot of put you would need a lot of cookies to put in here but it was 18.99 and it comes with a top if you guys know antique and vintage finds like this like crocs it's really hard to find stoneware with the tops that are not broken it's kind of rare so very happy to find that and 18 dollars is not bad crocs can go for hundreds of dollars or at least a hundred dollars i've seen a lot so crocs are really expensive but i always get good deals on them and find them in my thrift store or on etsy or facebook market so keep your eyes peeled if you're looking for crocs oh speaking of another croc i just put this up here i also got this croc it is a beer croc very cute i have another one over there that i got a while ago and they just make good decoration pieces you can put flowers in them like a little vase it has a little crack a lot of the time a lot of the times vintage crocs will have cracks and holes it's just normal but they still function totally fine they are very very sturdy pieces stoneware is one of the best kitchen kitchen materials you can buy i'm sorry i'm so out of breath <laughs> you guys i'm so so pregnant so i got that beautiful piece and then i also got this stoneware cup as well i thought this was so cute i've been wanting one of these cups for a while and it's just a crock cup so on this side it's just like plain and then over here you could tell it is a german cup i've been really into blues lately if you couldn't tell there's like blues everywhere i have a little melee bunny here from the kids easter baskets I have blue like all over my house. I just feel like it's such a pretty color lately. Anyway, so I've been loving blue. And then I found this beautiful <laughs> grandma piece. Like, isn't she a beautiful grandma? She's kind of creepy, but like at the same time, not. I don't know. I felt like she was a vibe. I put her back at first, but she's actually painted on canvas, which I thought was really cool. You guys know I love my canvas art pieces and i love the frame the frame is cracked and broken down here but i have wood glue not a big deal and it looks like someone already fixed it i don't know i couldn't pass her up to be honest so she was 3.99 and i'm probably gonna find a home for her maybe over here i don't know i love her i think she's so cute and i love the frame too so yes she looks like a little red riding hood grandma I don't know, I just love her. She's so cute. Okay, yeah, something about her is just so endearing. And I love my older folk art because I don't know, they just give me they give me the vibe like they have so much wisdom. I don't know, I just love older people in general, so had to get her. And then I got the kids this Donald Duck and his nephew's book. I'm not a huge Disney fan, but it's a real vintage old book. It was $3.99. And I thought this was really cool. And they do like Mickey, so I thought this would be fun to add to their collection. Like, look at how old it is. It's in pretty good condition, too. So I got them that. Got this basket, which is really cute. Never can have too many baskets. This was $3.50, which isn't a bad deal for a basket. I think I'm going to use this for either my postpartum nursing basket, where I have like all my nursing things, or something like that. Maybe my own just postpartum basket, nursing basket, something along those lines for prepping for baby. I'm probably going to use this for. It's a good size basket and I like it. So it can fit in small places too. So I'm gonna probably use that for that. And then I also got a few, well, and then something else I got were these 1960 baby overalls. Like, look at how cute. 
Aren't those adorable? So I can't wait to see Baby in these. They're just plain looking basic corduroy. Can you see? So they're just like a nice cream corduroy and the backing is so cute too. The backing is really cute. And they're in great condition. And the tag said that they were. Oh, I'm having another. <laughs> I'm having another contraction. Oh my gosh. They last about like 40, 40 seconds ish. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> cute overalls for baby. I can't wait to see them in this. And then I just grabbed a few frames because I'm always grabbing frames because I like gallery walls and art and whatever. And the kids often break my art. They throw things at my walls and they break, they fall off and they break. So, you know, it is what it is when you have kids. It's okay. Things break, things happen, and I'm not mad at it. So usually I have a few extra frames on hand. And yeah, so I got that frame. I love the ones that have wood and gold. I feel like it just accents the art really well, depending on what you put in it. And then I, get, I also got a few smaller frames artwork and this is kind of actually cute but I don't think I'm gonna keep it it says godparents warm the heart again with that blue I love that French stripe maybe I'll keep the banner and take the picture out I don't know we'll see but I wanted some smaller frames because I don't have too many smaller frames for some smaller artwork I wanted to put some smaller artwork up here maybe but that is all I got for my little thrift haul I think for dinner I'm gonna make something easy. Like to be honest, I have not been cooking and we have been eating out so much since the oven is broken. We do have the stove, but honestly, I'm so tired of stovetop meals. And I'm like running out of things to make and we eat the same thing over and over again and I'm just tired of it. Everyone's kind of tired of it. So we've been eating out a lot more, a lot more drive-throughs and I've just been exhausted. So just keeping it real with you guys. If you're in a current season right now where your life looks so much different than what it typically did for whatever reason just know you're not alone and you can get back on it but right now i'm just trying to give myself lots of grace and just accept that it's okay we're just in a different season and things really do look so much different i do get mom guilt for it you know when i'm out eating fast food and stuff which we typically don't do i usually make all of our food here but you know what I also look at it like we don't do this very often. We weren't doing this very often before pregnancy. We're gonna get back into a groove, especially since our oven broke. Hopefully Monday we'll start making all the things again from scratch, but you know what? It's okay. This has been a very humbling <laughs> pregnancy in so many ways. I am so excited to welcome baby, hold baby, all of the things, but it has been a tough, it's been a tough time, but I'm just so excited for, to hold that, I'm just so excited to hold the baby, so. Yeah, I'm also trying to mentally prepare for the slower, sleepier days where you're just not doing very much. I am also gonna really be prioritizing rest this time around. I'm not trying to commit to the 555 rule. I know a lot of moms are talking about that right now where it's like, you're five days in the bed, five days on top of the bed and then five days by the bed or something like that. I don't really get that because if you're on top of the bed, you might as well just be in the bed. I don't really get the whole 555 rule. So if that's literally just 15 days of just relaxing, so be it. That's about two weeks. Um, I'm not sticking to anything like that. I'm just going to let my body tell me. I'm just going to let my body tell me, you know, as I need rest. But I plan on staying in bed with this baby probably for the first five days or so. Um, which is crazy, because when you think back in time, they didn't have 
our ancestors and stuff did not have time to be laying around, you know, relaxing after having a baby. Most likely they had to get up and get back to work and do what they had to do, okay? It definitely doesn't escape me that it is a huge privilege to be able to stay home, stay in bed, relax, recover, recoup, um, and all of that after having a baby. So, yeah, I'm just going to prioritize rest since I have that beautiful privilege of doing that i also know a lot of moms have to work too where you only get like six weeks which is outrageous after having a baby before you know you might have to go back to work because it's not paid so i'm just going to be very thankful and soak up the time to rest and i'll probably have videos coming out i'm sure because i'm a batch filmer so a lot of the time i just film a lot ahead of time and kind of space out my videos a little more. I'm sorry there's been some major spaces lately. I've just been really busy in life, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> like truly super busy trying to get my life together in order before having this baby. And that's just honestly been reality. So I feel another contraction coming on. <laughs> I'm going to go sit and lay down maybe for a little bit. Baby drink some pregnancy tea, the red raspberry leaf tea. It's pretty good. I'll show you guys how I, or tell you guys how I make it really quick. I've been drinking this pregnancy tea, raspberry leaf tea. I've never done this with any of my other babies, honestly, but I hear it's really good for your body. It's supposed to prep your body for labor. It says women have been doing this, Native American, European women have been doing this for 2,000 years to tone the uterus and prepare the womb for childbirth. So, you know... It's worth a try. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it tastes good. So I put honey in here and it makes it really good and not too, too sweet. And I put it in my fridge and it's iced and it's really, it's really good. So I've been enjoying that because I am definitely a tea drinker and it's been really yummy. So I've been enjoying this tea in particular. So give it a try. If you're pregnant, you know, let me know if you like it. But I think I'm going to get dinner going here shortly um, after, it's what time? Oh, it's already 5 o'clock. Uh, I might make dinner first and then go lay down for a little bit. Because then after that it's time to put the kids to bed. So I think I've decided I'm going to make some beef stroganoff. That's pretty easy. Is it the most aesthetic and like beautiful dish? Not really. But it's really good and I'll leave the recipe down below. It's very simple, easy. And yeah, you can do it all the way homemade too if you want to. You can make your egg noodles, you can make your cream of mushroom and do all that. But a girl ain't got time for that today, okay? Like I really just need fast, easy, more convenient where I'm not going to be on my, my feet for like six hours. Because if we're just being real, cooking from scratch a lot of the time takes many, many hours. And so that's why, you know, a lot of the time when you see people doing it, it's only because they're filming it, you know what I mean? They only do the whole from scratch meal when they're filming it. And that's just reality of a influencer. But me, I actually cook all, used to cook all the time from scratch without even filming it. The things that I show you guys, it's just, it's healthier and I simply just enjoy it. But for the most part, when you see people doing it online, I guarantee you, it's just for the video. <laughs> Anyways, little rant over. We're just going to do a quick, easy dinner tonight. And then get these kids in bed because, wow, has it been a day <laughs> with the kids. It's always hard when you take them out in public and, you know, do the whole parenting thing in public. It's a lot. So, but we've had a really good day and I'm really thankful for these days because pretty soon we're going to be welcoming baby literally any day anytime and I'm just really really excited so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching probably going to close out the vlog here and yeah bye